Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for all you cybersecurity enthusiasts out there. We'll be walking you through the process of building Kali Nethenter on supported devices. If you're ready to turn your Android device into a powerful hacking tool, let's dive right in. Before we start, make sure your device is in the list of supported devices. Mentioned in the official Kali Nethenter documentation, we'll be following the guide provided by Kali Linux, and you can find the link in the video description below. First things first, ensure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery installed. Visit the Kali Nethenter GitHub page and follow the guide to download and install the necessary dependencies. This includes the Android SDK and DK and other tools crucial for the build process. Take your time with this step to avoid any issues later on. Next, clone the Nethenter repository to your local machine using the commands provided in the documentation. This will fetch all the necessary source code and files for building Nethenter. This cloning process will take time and it depends on your internet speed as it will download around 2 gigabytes of data, so be patient. Before you can build a device, you will need to enter the Nethenter installer directory and run dot slash bootstrap dodge. This will ask you a few questions before downloading the device's folder. This process will download all supported devices configuration data and it will consume around 4.6 gigabytes of internet data. So be patient as it will depend on your internet speed. The main build script is also located in the Nethenter installer directory and can be used to build images for multiple devices and Android OS versions, as shown above. Now, let's configure the build for your specific device. The documentation provides detailed instructions on how to do this. Pay close attention to any device-specific configurations and make the necessary adjustments. With the configuration set, it's time to build Nethenter. Follow the provided commands to initiate the build process depending on your system's resources. This may take some time, so be patient. Once the build is complete, you're almost there. Now, transfer the Nethenter image to your device and flash it using the custom recovery. The documentation guides you through this process step by step. Ensure you follow each step carefully to avoid any errors. And there you have it. You successfully built and flashed Kali Nethenter on your supported device. Now, your Android device is transformed into a powerful penetration testing tool. If you encountered any issues or have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more exciting tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy hacking!